What up squad, so we got 21 plus new features that were added to the iPhone with Apple's iOS 16.1's release. Now if you got any of these iPhones that's right here on the screen, then this video right here is for you. Now if you don't have this update, you haven't done it yet, to do it all you guys have to do is go to your settings, go to general, and then you're gonna go to software update and it is gonna be right there for you guys to update. Alright, so in no particular order, we're gonna go ahead and start with number 21 and we're gonna work our way down to that number one spot. Now the first thing we have up is Apple is finally finally giving us the battery percentage to all supported devices on this list now they already did it on a lot of the newer models with ios 16's release but now it is coming to the iphone 10 or iphone 11 the iphone 12 mini as well as the iphone 13 mini so to go ahead and turn this on all you have to do is go to your settings you're gonna go to battery and you're gonna toggle on battery percentage and now you guys are gonna see your percentage inside of the battery icon in the top right corner and as the battery drain you will also see battery drain reflect it in the battery icon whereas before it could literally be sitting at 80 percent and it's still gonna look like a hundred percent battery life it was kind of weird bug that they had but they fixed it in this release all right so moving on number 20 stand on the battery area here in some areas depending on where you guys live if you guys go to your battery and health and charging you guys are now going to see a new feature here called clean energy charging now what this means is if you guys toggle this on it's going to try to reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging when it actually sees that lower carbon emission electricity is available at that time now to me i feel like this is dope that apple is kind of offering this as a feature to be able to turn on and you know just just turn it on to help save the planet <laughs> all right so number 19 is a big one and it is icloud shared library which was a feature that was promised to us uh really with ios 16 but we didn't get it but it's okay because we got it now so if you guys go to your settings you're gonna go to your apple id name at the top you're gonna tap on icloud tap on photos and you're gonna scroll down and right here is where you're going to see a new feature called shared library option now with this you have the option to be able to share photos as well as video to your family as well as your friends or whoever is basically within your friends and close net group now if you guys go into your options section we have three sections that are new here we have shared library suggestions and sharing from camera as well as deletion notifications which will go ahead and delete notifications when someone actually makes changes within your shared library so if we go ahead and go into the camera app I'm gonna show you guys in real time what this actually looks like now if you have those features turned on you are now gonna see this new icon here with two people and if you guys tap on that to enable it the photo or as well as the video that you guys take will automatically go straight to that shared library without you having to manually do anything or add it there and all of that which to me I feel like this is clutch because if you guys are on family vacations or trips and stuff like that you can just set it up and whoever is in that library and whoever takes photos and videos or whatever is going to automatically place the photo right there for everybody to see so no more going out there saying hey yo can you can you just airdrop that to me you ain't got to do that no more because it's already in the shared library <laughs> also if you go into your photos app there's a new icon here as well now if you are on a photo you are now going to see a new icon display in the top right corner now if you guys go ahead and tap on that icon it's going to give you an option to be able to move that photo to the shared library and if it's already Already shared to your shared library you can also go ahead and move it back to your personal library here as well and if you guys tap on the three dots in the top right corner you will also see the option and the ability to be able to move it to a shared library option as well and another dope thing that we have here that's now in the photos app is if let's say we're not on a particular photo but we kind of on that main screen with all your photos you can just go ahead and tap on the three dots you're now going to have the option to be able to filter by both libraries your personal library or your shared libraries also a new thing that we have is this new shared library badge which will place this icon here next to the photo so that way you can see which photos are actually personal and then which photos are shared all right so number 18 is another big one that they gave us but this one here is only for my iphone 14 pro as well as my 14 pro max users who have that dynamic island and this feature here is called live activities now with the iphone 14 pro as well as the pro max it will use the dynamic island and show live scores live routing of like ubers the lift pickups so that way you guys can see it without having to go into any application and anything like that is going to be all right from your fingertips so if you want to see all of the scores and see how many points lebron and all of that is scoring then you can check it right out there on the top and you ain't got to go into no espn app it's just 
right there, updating right there in the dynamic island as well as on your lock screen. All right, so number 17 is another dope feature for iPhone 14 Pro as well as 14 Pro Max users, and that is adding an outline to the dynamic island if you have dark wallpapers like I typically have on my phones. Basically, you just couldn't see the dynamic island because it would just blend right into the black wallpaper. So now if you guys are using the dynamic island on dark wallpapers, it will go ahead and place a white outline around it so that way it's gonna be a little bit more visible. Although this is a dope feature, and hear me out, I just wish they would've gave users the ability to be able to enable as well as disable that because I feel like if I chose a dark wallpaper, maybe I'm actually doing that to hide the dynamic island because I don't really want it to be seen. But either way, I'm not complaining. The features here, enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so number 16, stand on that dynamic island. If you guys now pull down on the screen to go ahead and make it easier to use with one hand, the dynamic island will also move with you. To, I feel like I've been saying dynamic island like way too much. But anyway, it's gonna move down on the screen with you and it's gonna allow you guys to be able to use it in one-handed mode as well. All right, so number 15 is Apple Fitness Plus. Now, you have the ability to access Apple Fitness Plus and use it even if you guys don't have an Apple Watch. So now you have full access to all of the Fitness Plus workouts, uh, yoga, if that's your thing, meditation, all of that, all of the sessions that you want right from your iPhone as long as you guys have a Fitness Plus subscription. You can, you know, you can get your yoga on. <laughs> all right, so number 14 is a dope one, I thought, and it's with updates to the Apple Wallet, and that is now key sharing. So how many times, and let me know if I'm if I'm the only one, how many times have y'all been on vacation with buddies, family, friends, and all all of that and you got to go to that front desk of the hotel to get like six keys for all your friends well now you guys can actually erase that whole process and you can share your room keys with them using key sharing you can also share a car key you can share a hotel key you can also share your home key using a messaging app like iMessage or even WhatsApp which is just fire all right so number 13 Apple release a high yield savings account so now if you guys have money just sitting in your Apple wallet using that Apple card is going to be gaining rewards if you guys are automatically depositing daily cash into your new account, it's gonna go ahead and give you guys some high yield savings uh, from Goldman Sachs. Now, this is my disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I'm just saying this is a feature that Apple has given us. And if you got money just sitting around and laying around, hey, Go ahead and get some of that high yield interest. <laughs> Number 12, you now have the ability to go ahead and delete the Apple Wallet app completely. Whereas before, you didn't really have this option. You could only actually remove it from the home screen and it's just gonna place it back into your app library, but now, you can remove the whole app if you want to. All right, so number 11 is hiding the Apple Books menu. So if you've ever been in Apple Books, you guys will see this menu option here at the bottom, right? Well, in previous iOS versions, it would actually keep this menu here as you guys are kind of scrolling through and reading and swiping and all of that. And it just would kind of not look as clean. Well, now if you guys are swiping through, it's gonna automatically disappear getting rid of that menu at the bottom is just gonna give you guys a much cleaner reading experience. All right, so number 10 is customizing our lock screen, which is by far one of my favorite features of iOS 16, but it was just like way too many steps to be able to customize the wallpaper. It just felt just ridiculously redundant. So Apple went ahead and redesigned this, and now you guys have the option to go ahead and just update your lock screen, or you can just update your wallpaper, which is just a much better and just cleaner experience because I didn't, like if I just wanted to update my wallpaper, I had to go through the entire process of like changing my lock screen just to get to the wallpaper. It was, it was a whole process, but now they just made it a whole lot cleaner and just simpler. And number nine is now within your wallpaper setting, you can now see all of your custom lock screens as well as wallpapers that you guys created. And you can also create some new ones and add them right here from this uh, wallpaper settings area. Now number eight, if you guys have the new AirPods Pro 2, you now have a new feature that's gonna allow you guys to be able to turn off the volume swiping on the AirPods Pro 2 if you don't like that feature. Now to turn this off, you're gonna go to your settings, you're gonna go to accessories ability tap on airpods and then tap on your airpods pro 2 and towards the bottom you're now going to see an option to go ahead and toggle off the volume swipe feature now to me i'm not really sure why anyone would really want to turn this feature off because to me it works really good and it is a huge selling point to actually buying them in the first place but 
at least, you know, Apple is giving us options. <laughs> All right, so number seven is the App Store is now getting a little redesign, a little update. So let's say you guys are about to buy something in the App Store and it's gonna tell you guys that, hey, here is the charge and what the price is. Go ahead and purchase and check out, right? Well, now the whole look of it is gonna change. It's now gonna tell you guys, hey, this is the one-time price, whereas before it would kind of be a little bit, it would kind of be a little bit misleading because sometimes it'll say $9.99, but it could actually be a $9.99 recurring fee. So now it's just gonna be a little bit more of a clearer message. Uh, so that way you're not trapped into like hitting recurring charges and all of that, which is something that I can appreciate. All right, so number six is a huge feature, especially if if you guys are mobile app gamer and that is within your settings app if you guys go to the app store within your settings you will now see a new feature to toggle on for in-app content so with this guys it's going to automatically download patch updates new content and do it all in the background so that way every time you guys launch that game or whatever you guys are playing it's going to be on the latest firmware and you don't have to wait on any updates and all of that when you guys are actually ready to play now if you guys are a call of duty player then trust me, I, I you already know how long them updates can take. I'm just saying. All right, so number five is paste from other applications. So with certain apps, if you guys are within your settings and you go to a specific app here, you're gonna see a new feature here, whereas it's gonna give you guys the option to see a message if the app is attempting to use your clipboard to be able to paste inside of their application. Not all apps is gonna allow this, but some will. All right, so number four is taking a screenshot and now we have new UI changes with that that just looks way cleaner in my personal opinion to be able to save photos files quick notes copy and delete and just delete the screenshot all together to me it just looks overall way cleaner uh than what we had before now if you haven't updated yet you can go ahead right now take a screenshot and you can see how the old one actually look compared to this one it's it's night and day. <laughs> All right, so number three is a big one for me, and that is now Apple is gonna allow home support for Matter. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Matter is, Basically, let's say you guys are someone like me who uses Google Assistant and you have lights that are controlled under them uh, and as well as you update your thermostat in your home with it. You also can you know, see your doorbell camera and all of these different things. You will now be able to control all of those using Matter connectivity within Apple HomeKit. Now this is huge because even if you guys use Amazon Alexa, for example, you can actually access that within the HomeKit as well and use it all on your iPhone, which is is just super dope. Just keep in mind that the hardware that you guys are using and the software has to be compatible with Matter in order for it to show up and be uh, used with the iPhone. I just think this is a dope direction that Apple is taking, making their phones now compatible with Matter. All right, so number two is haptic feedback using the keyboard has been kind of nerfed a little bit. Um, it's not as strong as it was. So you guys will notice a change here if you guys have this turned on. Now to turn this on, you just go to your settings, go to sounds and haptics and enable haptic feedback. Now you guys will notice that it is not as strong as before on regular iOS 16 it's just you know it's just a little bit more subtle now number one is within shortcuts and that is we now have a new shortcut called get current focus so now using the focus mode you guys can create your own shortcut and just create something unique or whatever you guys want to have for like a focus you can do it you can either press a button and the action will happen or you can automate it whatever you guys want to do is just so many things you can do within shortcuts so I'm not gonna get too crazy into it but uh you know it's basically how i got my icons on my iphone and changed that whole setup to look like this now if you guys want to see how i created this exact same setup uh i guess i'm going to show you guys right now and as a bonus since we're here uh and you guys want to get your iphone to actually set up and look like this i go into that full detail on how to actually set that up right here on the video that is up here on the screen uh also do me a favor go ahead and hit that like button and drop me uh drop me the okay emoji down in the comments below if you stayed here this long now if you guys are new here go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like this content join the squad as we on our way to 100k subscribers y'all man i can't wait for that to happen uh and your support we gonna get there and like always y'all make your move and always remember your why i appreciate y'all watching and i'll see y'all in the next one squad <laughs>